Hello, my name is Bizwork and today I'm going to show you how to build a PWM controlled two-way motor. Uh, that is a motor that can spin clockwise or counterclockwise depending on the instruction from the PWM signal, which is from the microcontroller. Uh, all you'll need is a couple of transistors, four NPNs are fine for this, uh, for this type of lightweight motor. Um, a few resistors, maybe around 2 to 10 kilo ohms, although maybe more or less are, uh, should be fine. Um, some wires for connecting things to the breadboard, and of course you'll need a breadboard, and some type of microcontroller. Arduino is kind of a nice little platform, um, and you'll need to know a little bit of coding if you want to follow along. Okay, so first I'm just going to build a simple H-bridge circuit, so try to follow along here. Um, hopefully the you'll be able to see what I'm doing here in spite of the light. So, there's the first half of the H bridge and here's the other half and we just need a couple of resistors to be the controls for the H bridge sorry I'm <laughs> trying to do two things at once here Okay, so most of our work is done now actually. Um, so there's an H-bridge. That will allow us to send the motor in both directions. And uh, now we can connect a couple wires here. Uh, yikes. <laughs> Hang on a sec. Okay, so I just plugged everything in so that I could save some time. Um, so here's what it looks like all plugged in. Note that before I made a very critical mistake and actually a very dangerous mistake. Um, I plugged both of these resistors into this transistor and this transistor and both of um, both of these resistors into these transistors and what that would have done is by activating either side I would have shorted out um, the entire side of the H bridge which would have shorted out my power supply uh, so that's very bad so make sure you just double check before you turn on your circuit um, so I have down I've uploaded the code that I have here uh, onto my board and Right now, I'm just checking it out on my DSO, and as you can see, this is the expected behavior. So, um, this one would right now would be going in reverse, and right now it speeds up going forward. And it's kind of neat, you can visually see the PWM. Okay, so let's plug everything in to the motor and see how this looks. Uh, this should plug in here, and this should plug in over here. The motor kind of has a lot of friction, so hopefully it'll it'll go. You can hear it. Also, it's kind of a low voltage I'm supplying, USB voltage. Let me see if I can uh, up the voltage or something. Hang on a sec. Okay, so instead of upping the voltage source, all I did was get a cheaper motor. And as you can see, the program is functioning exactly as we were hoping for. Speeds up in one direction, slows down, and speeds up in the opposite direction. And there you have it. So the code is very simple. I'll upload it to the video description if you want to give it a try. And make sure you don't make the mistake I made with the H-Bridge. And verify your circuit before you turn it on. And don't use your microcontroller as a direct power source. That would be a bad idea. Thank you for watching.